Really? <gasps> See? Get out! Yay. Yay! Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna quick ball this, because it's so low level. We're quick balling a gibble. Oh, you mother fluffer. Okay. Hmm. Ow. Goku seems like he wants to be petted. Oh my god. All right, we got Gibble. And Gibble's nickname is going to be Atlas. That should be a good dragon color. Yeah. Gibble's nickname is going to be Atlas. You already named Goku, Rick. Okay, you already named Goku. I, I had Atlas in my head like yesterday. Everybody gets one. I've been waiting hours for this Gibble. And now we proceed. Look at that, third encounter. Love it. So, my starter's female and I still named it Poseidon. So, let's not get all technical here. Let's let's not get all technical. Yeah. Because I wanted Poseidon as a nickname. Yeah, I never nickname mine outside of outside of streaming, so it's like I really don't care what the genders are. What does this Gibble even know? This thing's about to get mad XP. Sand Tomb. Oh, it's got Dragon Breath right off the gate. Nice. Special Defense down. Speed up, though. Speed up, though. That's true, Rock Knot. It is 2021. That is very true. All right, so I got to go to Lake Ver or wherever. Lake Bower. Whichever lake I got assigned. So we're going to fly to... Fly to Veilstone. Veilstone or Pesto? Ah, Veil uh, Veilstone. We'll go Veilstone. That's closer. That is closer. Rocknot, how you doing, by the way? Good to see you. It just thinks that Garchomp, Garchomp takes forever to get to, to evolve. Everyone's fully grown except little Gibble. <laughs> I love it. It's a little jazzy vibe in this town. Uh, I want to say it's like 48 or 50 something. There you go. I was doing a couple things around the house today, and then I had to get down to get down to editing. I do have the first 10 episodes of our playthrough up on the YouTube channel right now, and then I'll get the rest like tomorrow, including this. So after tomorrow, everything that we've streamed is going to be on YouTube. Oh, I didn't fight this guy. Oh, well. One's a dragon. Which one? Wait, which one's the moth? Oh, you're talking about Volcarona. Yeah, Mothra. Anytime, anytime I get a Venomoth or... Or that, I name it Mothra. Ah, quick attack. Why not? As, yes, as one should. Yes, I agree. As one should. 
My dad was obsessed with Godzilla growing up, and but like the latest two Godzilla movies they've done, like King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong, were fantastic. Oh, nice! I still haven't touched New World yet in a while. All right, so how many hours did it take to get to sixty? And what weapon pair are you? Are you still rocking the same weapon pair? Or did you change it up at all? Did I see right there? Is there an expansion? Or something coming out for New World? It's like Into the Void or something like that. Sword and Shield and Hammer. So I'm assuming you're a tanky class then. You got Sword and Shield. I'm taking my health, good lord. Man, you're just prolonging this fight, good sir. There we go. Hell yeah. I, when I stopped playing, I was super into Hatchet and Great Axe. Is there a Great Axe? There's a Great Axe, right? Well, keep, cross those toes too, Rick. Make sure you cross the toes. Hatchet I was in love with. It was Hatchet Musket for a while. And then I switched to Hatchet, and I'm pretty sure it was Great Axe or Battle Axe, whatever, they, whatever the term is. Just to kind of get that leveled up. Atlas is leveling up. Into the Void brought the Void Gauntlet. Okay. I remember the Void Gauntlet being talked about like the first, what? First week. Oh yeah, no, it's this entire game. I underestimated how good it was gonna be. There's a lot of things about this game that make it great and it's not, it's the art, it's the music, it's the backgrounds, it's the animations in the moves. They're all great, and I love them. Do I have to fight? Oh, that's right, the magic carp are flopping around. Dang, they really blew this up. They really blew this, blew this place up. I never pegged Kev as a copy pasta type of person. Oh, the Hall of Fame, like no matter which generation you play, the hall the way they do Hall of Fame is amazing. Hi Tina. Thunderbolt. I say Thunderbolt. I do wish they would have changed the grunt galactic background though to be like the regular background and only use this situation when it's like admins and higher we're going to beat everybody up quick guard what does quick guard do from priority moves nah. Nah. We're good. Goku's strong enough without it. Right, yeah, priority move. And you don't necessarily run into a lot of people, trainers that use priority. That's more like a competitive thing. It's fun. It's, it's nice reliving Gen 4 in this kind of way. Plus, they made it super easy. <laughs> Essentially. 
Well, yeah, trainer AI, yes, ex exactly. If I, was, if I was training a competitive Lucario, then I'd probably do Quick Guard. Just best guess. Yes, I know my Pokemon attack with phenomenal power. Grinding be rough? It can be rough. All Team Galactic Grunts have are Krogunks, Golbats, Cascoons, and Silcoons, Dustoxes. Everything you can beat up in one move. Exactly, yeah. It's majority poison types. And that's the same with Team Rocket, in a way. Right? No, they had Rattatats and Raticates a lot. Plus poison types, yeah. I'm trying to think of other... Well, you had Team Aqua and Team Magma, and that kind of spoke for themselves, you know. Uh, Fairy is not recognized in the remake, no. At least I don't think so. Because I don't think... I think I've heard people... Uh, talk about how you don't, you cannot get Sylveon. Right, Giovanni was, uh, ground type. So here comes Dustox. At least Giovanni, like, had a brain. Kinda, sorta. He did have a mean Nidoqueen. But you know, Surf. There's the answer, Surf. Atlas is 18. Atlas is 18. Ooh, see? Ground type. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere with these ground type moves. We're getting our counter to electricity. And I like it. I love the air release animation. So nice. I mean, you can always breed everything with a ditto. That's the easiest way to do it. Oh yeah, no, if I didn't have Blastoise, I used, well, I, most of the time I would actually take Venusaur as the starter. But no, Lapras, Lapras would bulldoze through Cinnabar Island and Giovanni. No doubt. Like, there was no need for anybody else with the 7th and 8th gym. It still amazes me how quickly you can get a Nido King in Gen 1. It's insane how quickly you could have an, a, a beastly Nido King. See the Magikarp flop in unison. Kind of. They were flopping in unison. I mean, like, you watch speedrunners all the time, and they have a Nido King before you edit Xiviridian Forest. They are great for huge ground kite. Oh, I forget this person's name. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. Who the hell are you? I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. Huh. Juniper should be ashamed of herself be being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. So we got Mars, we got Jupiter. Are you Uranus? Funny jokes. Saturn. Damn, I was close. Cool double. Well, yeah. Exactly. That's what I mean. That's how crazy you can have a Nido King that quick. All you need is a Moonstone. All you need is a little Moonstone. Oh, I think this might be time for uh, for Zeus. Get in here with some biting.
Never expected a cadaver to use Rain Dance, excuse me? Alright, Zeus, bite it. And we're reflecting, okay. Flinch? No flinch. I bend my spoon at you. Oh yeah, Nido King very physical. Nido King definitely very physical, so you want those physical moves and you shouldn't have an issue at all. That's very true. Hey. Atlas is growing up so fast. Atlas is almost old enough to drink. Look at that. All right, well, we got rid of our fire mon. I think we're still okay with the with the dark moves. Yep. All right, give me that bite flinch. Nope. Ooh. His butt a scratch. That's glorious. Oh. All right, the reflect should be wearing off here in a second. Crit, baby. Right? No, that wasn't a crit. Oh my god. Oh, it was a crit. Haha. <laughs> Scandium, hello. How are you? How's it hanging? Hey, we got our we got our 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 dream team going here. I'm pretty good. Ooh, what kind of pie? What kind of pie are we talking? Is it an Oreo pie? I love Oreo pie. Oreo pie be good. You made a... S no. You made a seven pound pie? I'm sorry? But yeah, Fairy's only really good against Dragon. Blueberry, Blackberry, pot Seven pounds! Who is eating all of that? You? Like, are you eating that on your own? That's impressive. And Atlas is old enough to drink. Mist and... <laughs> well, three and a half pounds of pie each. There you go. Oh, okay. So there's more than just two of you. Okay. Yeah. You and I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. Childlike, you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. And he's gone. It did good on this cave design. The camera angle is really nice. Yeah, Team Cyrus is the crazy one. They're just following. Hey, Thanksgiving is soon, and it really doesn't feel like it. All right, well, I, I did that. Oh, I have to go to... Okay, I have to go to Lake Verity now. Okay. Okay. That was Pokemon Center. Well, Cyrus, when Aaron and I did our Diamond and Pearl Soul Link, Cyrus gave us problems. I remember that. Cyrus was the one who gave us issues. That's where we went down from like five to two. Oh yeah. Which I need to get the rest of that up on YouTube. I have the video files, I just need to cut them down. And it just takes longer with frickin' Premiere Pro. The berries by themselves were too... Yeah, so yeah. With everything else going into a pie, that would make it... Seven pounds sounds about right then. I'm sure it would... It will be delicious. It's crazy that we were here on Friday night just starting this game. And now look at the team we've, we've built. Oh, it's it's the whole multiverse thing. Oh, 
Oh, what timing. Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. Fine, I'll go help. Oh, God, no. Oh, double battles. Here we go. Parallel dimensions, multiverses. It's, yeah, it's the thing now. Everybody's doing it. Oh, boy, here we go. Glammy out. See, Silcoon. There you go. Glammy out, Silcoon. Typical grunt Pokemon. That's a perfect, you know, combo to throw out here. Or Sphere the Glammeow. And Aerial Ace the, the Silcoon. There you go. Easy peasy. Are you talking about three Gen 1 games? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have Red, Blue, Yellow. You have Fire Red and Leaf Green, Leaf Green, and you have Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yep, no, you're right. You're 100% right. Do, do, do. All right, what's next? Oh, look, another Glammeow. Oh, it's a Golbat this time. Whatever are we going to do? Whatever shall we do? Ay, 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 ay. Who's that? Who is that? Oh, hi, Kev. Thanks for the host. Punch it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna punch the cat and then electrify the bat. How's that sound? There you go. So he did it. I've been spirit bombing all night, Rick. Where have you been? We've been spirit bombing everything. That might hurt a little bit. <laughs> or not. Name for a female Oddish? Are you taking it to a vile plume? I name it uh, Erica. Erica. Name it Erica. Especially if you're going all the way to a vile plume. Name it Erica. Yeah, I I would say Erica. E R I K A, like the gym leader. Yep, with uh, K instead of a C, because it's just like the gym leader, because that's what Erica in Gen One used. Erica's the gym leader in Gen 1, grass type, and she loves the Oddish line. And in the show, she was obsessed with her gloom. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she loves that Oddish line, especially gloom and vile plume. Ba -ba 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 -da. Oh, look, another cat. Thunderbolt. I think so, Rick, yeah. It's something along that line. Woo, two grunts down. All right, can I run and heal? Oh, we, we all know your opinion about Gen 1, Kev. We know. Well, that was the that was the interesting thing about Gen One was that only one person had dragon types. Pretty sure he was the only dragon, the only person with dragon types. Was Bellsprout the other? Was Bellsprout a blue exclusive? Is that how they broke it up? She healed me, right? Well, I'm saying one dragon trainer. Like, nobody else had dragon Pokemon. So that was, like, the other little challenge was dragon type was only weak to ice. A.K.A. which made Lapras amazing. It's still, a, I mean, it's still nothing besides ice could combat it. Yeah, Claire was Gen 2, the 8th gym leader. Then you had the Dragon Den behind her. 
And now you see dragon like everywhere. Right, the only thing, yeah, it was only weak to itself and ice until fairy came. Until gen six when they introduced fairy typing. Yeah, it was gen six. And then steel became good against fairy, I think, yeah. I mean, it has... The only... I mean... I'll wait till Rick's back before I say this. He'll let me know when he's back. Okay, so... I will never be upset if nobody subs to me. I will never be upset by that. People are more than welcome to do whatever they want with their money. It's the fact that, like, people are here hanging out is what's great. That's the best part of it. That's the only thing I want, is people to be have a place where they can come hang out. But I, I know you're joking, but, like, I'm just making that a fact for, like, people who are watching this later on down the road. So I, I made the ads only one minute per hour, and we did just break the hour mark. So I'll try to I'll try to have a warning, a vocal warning when ads are going to come up. That's the best I can do. And some of the ads are even broken for for even people who are subbed. I think Lotus last night was saying he was still getting ads even though he's subbed. So I'm doing the best I can. So we're hanging out, we're having fun. That's all I ever I ever ask about or care about. Hang out, don't be a dick. Be cool. And we'll all have a good time. I should have closed combat the cat. Oh, come on, Atlas. Keep keep leveling up, Atlas. I was very sad. I'm trying. I need to start. Uh, what's the word? What's what I'm what I'm looking for? Because I see people are starting. I guess Xbox gave out. There's not a, a Halo campaign demo out right now, is there? Because I see people talking about the Halo campaign and playing parts of the campaign. And I want to avoid that because I don't want to know anything about that story. It, it's Team Galactic. Oh, no. The Pokemon of the Lake. All right, Mars. Mars bar. There's a preview for reviewers. Okay, I think I did see something about an embargo going up. I thought I saw something about uh, a preview slash review embargo being lifted like yesterday. I'm trying to like not watch any of that. That face, it brings back bad memories. Talk about the Valley Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of the Team Galactic's commanders. How cute. You think you two think you could save the day with in your little game of hero. Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Bring it on. Master Chief's a girl. Damn it. Well, I'm not playing Halo Infinite campaign now. Screw that. Screw that. Spoiler. I tried. You know what? It's the internet. Freaking internet, man. All right, let's go into the suit. Wow, he's high level. <laughs> Anytime I go at a convention now, I know exactly what booth to look at if we don't know where Rick is. They made his butt smaller. Wow. Shrinking butts in games, that's like not cool. I mean, I, you're the one who went there. <laughs> I just know where to look now. Per ugly, per ugly, per ugly. Hmm. 
Go Star Raptor. I'm not crucifying you for it. I'm just making a, a statement that I know where to find you. Oh, so fighting will work on that. <laughs> no, everyone's everyone's allowed to like something. I'm not going to crucify you for it. As long as you're opinions are valid. I mean, some people do appreciate some good boob art. It is what it is. Oh, I didn't want to leave. I did not want to leave Star Raptor in for that one. It's too early for Atlas. Well, I, knew, I figured you'd find that booth eventually. Freaking confused, Rick. Kev makes a lot of jokes. Kev, Kev's got like a daily joke machine. Flinch. Flinch! Dang it. Ooh, snapped out of confusion already. Hell yeah. If I, sh if I was going to buy anything at that expo, I should have bought art, though. I didn't buy a single game. Honestly, the first convention ever, you don't really know what to expect. 